Okay, this is basically a remake of the review of my Sony VAIO UX280P. So, just real quick, mouse keys are here, scroll is here, VAIO touch center is here, wireless is here. In the area of wireless, you have wireless LAN, Bluetooth, and wide area network. On the front, you have your docking port, headphone and microphone, and some cooling vents. Nothing on the right-hand side. On the top, you have your memory stick, your camera, some more ports. This round black area here is for your wireless. And right here is for your WAN, your wireless um, wide area network. In other words, you pop an AT&T SIM in here and you get wired area network coverage. And you also get a full-blown keyboard. Finally, here on the top, stylus. Now, um, notice here the sticker. If you can't read it, it says, designed for Windows XP, Windows Vista capable. I can't read it without putting my nose to the computer, so don't worry. But this is not running Windows XP, and this is not running Windows Vista. I'll show you what it is running. If you can't read that, it says Windows 7 Ultimate. Give me a moment here to put in my password. Now, why exactly would you want Windows 7 on here? You've got a, such a small screen, how would you use it? Well, right here are your zoom buttons. Unfortunately, the zoom utility, I have not installed it. But I don't need to install it. Watch this, I'm going to log in here. This is the new Windows magnifier, and it runs like a dream on the system. That would be okay. I got to change that. Apparently, Skype came up. I got to fix that. That would be this. And as you can see, it's running arrow. Everything is just running really, really beautifully on this. Um, I've got Pigeon on here, and I've got Skype. So I'm going to reach over here real quick and close this window out, because I don't want it up here. For the moment. Okay. I downloaded OpenOffice, Avast, Windows Defender, a couple of other security tools. But as I said, this is running beautifully. And this is full magnification. So you don't need the zoom utility anymore if you have one of these. What you do is you hold down the Windows key and 
then you hit either plus to zoom in or minus to zoom out. This is a heck of a lot faster than Vista. I'll tell you that right up front. This is very speedy. There are some things that do not work. For example, if I switch on the wireless, you can see that both of these came up for wireless and Bluetooth. I have no control over what comes up, so I cannot turn Bluetooth off. I even tried disabling it in the in the in the in the adapters. Um, actually, hang on. Let me let me let me see something here. What we're going to do is we're going to go into the network. We're going to go into the sh network center, and this is not easy to do through the camera. So bear with me here, please. Ah, there it is. So we're going to go in here real quick. You can see we have about an hour and a half on the battery, and that's with wireless turned on. Okay, so we have our sharing center open. And I want to go to Change Adapter Settings. See, if we go through here, Bluetooth isn't even showing up. Yet at the same time, the light is on, which means the radio is on. I've got no control over that. The cameras don't work either. So I've got no control over wireless. I've got no control over the cameras. I have... Let's see, what else am I lacking? Cameras. Oh, I'm also lacking the brightness. Um, brightness and volume, because if we go into the start menu here, and I go up here to the touch launcher, You can see that the touch launcher is active, but if we go down here to volume and brightness, you can see that they're at zero when clearly we've got brightness control. So I'm missing a driver that allows me to control that. Also, if I were to go into my connection settings, for example, if I hit the, if I select this here, nothing happens and it goes right back to the desktop. Um, I'm going to contact Sony probably after I make this video and ask them when their driver support will be working for Windows 7 and whether or not this model will be included in that update. This model has not been sold by Sony now for the past year and a half. It has been replaced. Um, it, has been up, it has been replaced by the Sony VIO P series. But this is very close in specification to a netbook. It's got a 30 gigabyte hard drive. It's got, or excuse me, 40 gigabyte hard drive. It's got um, 1.2 gigahertz Intel Centrino, so it's not the Atom, but it's running at the same clock speed. And Windows 7 is running fabulously on this, aside from those issues that I just pointed out. But again, I'll be contacting Sony and seeing what the deal is when, when and if full Windows 7 driver support will be um, will be announced for this model. So um, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Comments are welcome, and have a nice day.